SCP-2585 Exploration Log A Exploration A slash slash 1984 Due to the nature of the exploration and requirement for mountaineering prowess, D-Class personnel could not be utilized. A team of three Foundation personnel, identified as A, G, and T, trained in advanced mountaineering was assembled for this mission. To minimize the risk of fall and allow for expedited descent, the team was allotted access to a prototype harness system developed from technologies redacted. In addition to their climbing equipment and bottled oxygen, the team members were also outfitted with a radio linked to Outpost 2585 at base camp, a shoulder-mounted video-slash-audio recording device, and three Beretta Series 81 pistols. The climbers were instructed to ascend the Southeast Ridge or Abruzzi Spur. Sections of the climb prior to Camp C, altitude 7,300 meters, are uneventful and have been omitted for brevity. A. Base, are you reading me? Base, Roger, A status? A, we're going to depart from Camp C shortly and continue up the shoulder. No abnormalities thus far. Base, Roger that, A how's the team? A, G's a bit under the weather, or, well, over it, I guess. Just altitude issues. We're going to let him get composed. No problems with me or T base, noted. Please report in with any significant developments. We'll maintain silence until then. A. Roger, base. Out. Eight minutes of silence. A. Base, come in. Base, we're reading you, A. What's the situation? A. G's losing it, base. He's huddled up, rambling that he wants to go home. We can't rouse him and he's stark white. I don't think he's going to make it. Base, have you noticed any abnormal activity? other than G's episode? A, no A pauses. A, do you want us to go ahead with protocol R0? Base, affirmative, A give G's camcorder to T. A, roger. A brief pause, 90 seconds. A, right, we're ready to continue our ascent. G's still out of it, he's still moving, but he's not talking. Base, roger, A you are clear to continue. A, requiescat at in pace, G out. 24 minutes of silence. T, base, come in. Base, T, is that you? Where's A? T, I don't know, I lost him in the storm. Base, repeat, T. T, storm. You know, that giant thing around the mountain right now? Base, negative, T, T, what? Can you even see the mountain? Base, there's cloud cover, but it's not turbulent. T, base, I'd like to report an anomaly. Base, the storm? T, what do you think? Base, stand by while we try to contact A, T, fine. Base's attempts to contact A are unsuccessful. Base, T, we can't reach him. Is the route still climbable? T, not a chance. Base, very well, return to camp. T, roger. Out. 15 minutes of silence. T, base, are you oh god? Base, T, what is it? Come in. T, I've found A, he's fuck, it looks like he's frozen solid. Yeah, no, his skin feels like rock, fuck. Base, ignore A and continue your descent as fast as possible, this mission is officially aborted. T, I'm heading back down, base, I'm heading wait, what? Base, T. What do you see? T, there's someone else up here. I wait, it's gone, it was right there. Unknown contact lost, base. Base, T, descent remains your priority. T is silent. Base, T, do you copy? T remains silent. Base, T. T, the mountain is coming down. Base, T. No further response from T is heard, however, a rumbling sound possibly consistent with an avalanche is recorded, along with several sounds of unknown origin. After 30 seconds, contact is lost entirely. One hour later, G was discovered walking into base camp. In his possession was the video-slash-audio recording unit originally assigned to him and later given to T. Analysis of the feed shows evidence of the storm attested to by T, despite no evidence of the phenomenon from the monitoring station. The feed appears to cut out prior to the avalanche which presumably killed T, 
and no recordings exist to clarify how the device returned to Ji's possession, or how Ji descended the mountain. Three appearances by SCP-2585-1 were identified in the recordings, however, it appears that only the last was noticed by the team, specifically, T. These images of SCP-2585-1 are the first known to the Foundation. G expired of a cerebral edema two hours after his return, and did not speak during that time. No trace of A or T has been found. SCP-25